Lazy River Ride, three outdoor pools, two indoor pools, inner tube ride for the kids. Well, clients say they're well, relieved by the AG's actions. Well, this has taken so long and so many people have been hurt. These people need their money. There are so many of us out of jobs. I'm out of a job. Return or exchange um, more items in the future. I feel that I am being punished for the few that are making too many returns. 10% of the health care population uh, may have substance abuse problems, and there are 122,000 nurses in North Carolina. That's both RNs. I'm kind of skeptical. I may and may not do it again. It'll have to think about it. I want to make sure I've really gotten that deal that I've maybe stood in that aisle and thought one or two minutes, you know, making that decision. The information systems through the grocery stores are much better than they were. The last two cons work the same way. They involve fake checks, overpayments, and lotteries. The CEO didn't get a resolution either, so Sadiq contacted us here in the Two Wants to Know Call for Action office. The IRS says that was a common mistake, and that's the reason she received $500 less than Jackson Hewitt originally calculated. We do not plan to run it uh, as long as the Attorney General uh, has the individual under investigation. Well, the reputation they have for uh, quality. No one from Dell or rebate status ever called us back to explain why Whitson received the runaround with his rebate, but we can all learn from how we help solve this problem. Call corporate or media relations yourself. Computers don't have to prove intent, an element usually required for a first-degree murder conviction. Albright did charge Janet with first-degree felony murder. He says fire investigators told him the fire was not smoldering when she walked away, like she claims. In a very long time in prison without any trace of the felony murder rule. Can stores do that? The answer is yes. The board has given him what amounts to a slap on the hand. They actually went into uh, what we consider uh, the consumer's garage. You don't have the money? I was like, no, I don't. I'm just going to be upfront and honest with you. I do not have $995 within two days of meeting you. April, Whitsitt had to stop charging, though. Guilford County's attorney says the department's contract prevents them from charging for routine accidents. Follow our patients. We know their names. We know their families. Supply chain. There really just aren't any guarantees. So Pridgen called us here in Two Wants to No Call for Action. We also called Hams, and the manager gave us the same promises and the same results. So we called Hams' regional manager.